us and get back to leading normal lives. Tracy, I think it Monica's going point... It isn't going to be that easy to start leading normal lives again, Tracy. Not for those people who have been working with death and suffering all these weeks. Not for those people who... Uh... Uh, yeah, excuse me. I, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I, I think I should, uh, go upstairs and try to get some sleep. Obviously, I need it. Daddy. Has she been like that ever since she got home? I'm afraid so. But she's exhausted and extremely tense. That's not so hard to understand, is it? No. But for some reason, I'm wondering if everybody who was locked up in that hospital all these weeks and got released today is reacting as strangely as Monica. I think the important thing is that my love, especially my love gave me the strength. All I want to do is be able to explain it to you calmly and logically so you'll understand. I love you. That has never changed. Less.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you, darling. Seeing you lying here like this after missing you so much was just more than I could stand. And don't I... talk, my love. Don't talk. I know how you feel. I feel the same way. <laughs> It's 
Well, you haven't heard the worst part yet, unfortunately. The truth is, I had twinges of that old, ugly jealousy of mine. The thing that I thought that I had cured forever. But I fought against it, Monica. I fought against it with every ounce of strength that I had in my body, and I won. In spite of Tracy's barbs and insinuations. And do you know? You know who was able to get me through it? No. Just concentrating on you and how much you love me. That's what got me through it. Again? Yes. And as of this minute, I can honestly say that my victory over that old, ugly friend of mine is, is complete. I'm glad. I, I was ashamed to even admit that I felt that, but I, I just had to be honest with you completely about everything that happened while you were away. Thank you. You think any less of me? No, no, of course not. You forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Look, I want you to know, I love you with all my heart. I'll never do anything to hurt you, ever. Not if I can help it. You don't have to tell me that. I know that already. Nothing like a nice hot shower to make you feel like a new man. Mm. That's the other day. You feel like one too, do you? <laughs> All I need now is a drink with my favorite wife and I'll be in heaven. Well, there are martinis waiting for you. That's beautiful. Thank you, darling. I found a note from Edward. He said he uh, decided to take Tracy and Mitch up on their invitation for dinner. Oh, I must say that's very discreet of him to leave us alone for our first couple of hours together. I've got to admit I wasn't quite so discreet this afternoon when I came home and took the stairs three at a time. I kind of think Dad knew what I had in mind. Well, he also said that they were having it at the floating rib if we felt like joining them. But we don't, do we? We'd much rather have dinner sent up here, wouldn't we? Of course we would. Adam? Oh, it is good to be home again. It is indeed. It, it kind of feels... Natural. I uh, might as well tell you now because you're going to hear about it anyway. I lost <laughs> my temper this afternoon with uh, Tracy and Mitch. When? I thought you were asleep the whole time I was gone. No, no. I came downstairs to have a visit with your father and they waltzed in all excited about planning a big party for the end of the epidemic. And she kept going on and on about Mitch being down at the center and having his picture taken with all the people thanking him for putting an end to the epidemic. And I just had too much of it. I guess it was because I was tired, but I told her off and I wasn't very polite. Good for you. You should make a habit of it. Maybe even twice a day. Might keep Tracy in line. No, Alan, that's... I mean, it isn't going to do any good for me to just go around snapping at people for the rest of my life just because they can't understand what it was like to be in the hospital all those weeks. I think I understand enough. I wonder. I really do, Alan. I don't even think another doctor can... can grasp what it was like. What the horrors were. It was just... Uh, so many pressures. It was... It was like being suspended in time. It wasn't real. It was living in a, a totally different place apart from the one you left behind. I think I can understand all of that, Monica. Can you really? Absolutely. I wonder. Monica, what happened is all over now. The only thing that we have now is that you are back home with me. Whatever happened to you in that hospital is a private memory that you will have to deal with in your own time as you see fit. You're right. You're right. It... All that... All that was unreal is something that only I experienced. I can't expect anybody to share that with me. Exactly. You've got to think of it as nothing more than an interruption. 
When you walked in through that door, our lives started all over again, Monica. And that's all we have to deal with. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. For what? For all the things that you have said to me, that was... That was the tears, and that was the most understanding. I always love you for that, Alan. I'm glad about that. I'm kind of counting on that. <laughs>